But guys, really hey, I'm hanging out. It's Matt Pinto. I'm hanging out with the Dirty Heads here. Fan Pass, hanging with Jared and Dustin. Guys, you know, I was reading once, and I, I didn't know if it was true or not. Did yeah. you, how did you get the band name Dirty Heads? Was it, there was this one story that said that you guys were stealing a 12-pack of beer, and somebody called, come on back here, you Dirty Heads. We we actually not true. We yeah. lie yeah. on the majority of times that people will ask us what our name means, right. and we just lie. We've done Saving Private Ryan. We've done Step Brothers. We usually take movie plots yeah. and then put it to there, but... Uh, that we used to steal a lot of beer. That's yeah. not probably what happened. Um, yeah, but you did. Where, where did you do it from? Like the stores nearby? Or the, like, well, the stores. Jared this actually is, was most known for stealing farm animals. This, yeah. But this, this is the thing. <laughs> and like, has nothing, I want to hear the farm animal story. That Come is on. nothing sexually. Uh, yeah. This is. It's all about the bait and switch. So yeah. when we would steal beer, there was a there was a, like a school, like a middle school, and we were in high school, and they were they had like a petting zoo for the younger yeah. kids. So we yeah. went and we stole like a goat and a duck. And something else and we had the van and we wrapped them up in towels and they were rabbits. freaking out and they were shitting all over my friend's van and then so we took them into the vons it's our grocery store back there you yeah, know vons like Ralph yeah and then we, you throw the fucking ducks and then the the goats and shit and so they start so and the electric like, door and opens like, and closes and you throw they're them in now. and they're inside <laughs> and it's like one and two in the morning and they're just freaking out and they're shitting everywhere and there's goats running around yeah, those and are 24 hour so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so all the employees are trying to get the farm animals out and you just walk in and grab a case of beer and walk right out and let the farm animals do that that's a real Really great, intricate way yeah. to try and No one's going to chase Bait after and you switch. Yeah. when there's Bait a goat and switch. taking a crap yeah. aisle two. They don't even yeah. notice you know? that you're taking beer. <laughs> no, like, it's amazing. Beer, <laughs> no idea. We have way bigger problems to deal with. You know what's amazing? I, I did it a stupid way because, you know, when I was a kid, maybe around 15 or so, we were leaving the county fair and me and a bunch of my buddies in the back of a pickup truck. We're all hungry. So someone goes, dude, why don't you go get us some sandwiches? I'm like, all right. Sure. So we walk in and we order five sandwiches at the convenience store there. And I make some five sandwiches. He puts them down. I grab them and I run out the front door. And he jumps over Seriously, over the counter and chases me about a mile and a half. I get away. We had this. We had the. Uh, it, while, while we were doing that. They were like stealing the sodas. So we have some, yeah, something yeah. to drink with the sandwiches. <laughs> I thought soda. we were laughing. Yeah. I thought I got away with it. Walking to school six months later, take a different way through this other little town. All of a sudden, I hear this guy in a car. You owe me for sandwiches. <laughs> he chased me with the car around the school. And I thought he was going to kill me. So I ran right into these people's front door. And this man and woman who were elderly were just looking at me. Eating their breakfast. And I just said, so wait, call now you're breaking and entering after and, stealing. After yes, show. yeah. Okay. So, well, I didn't break and enter because yeah. it, was, it was unlocked. This is so, all okay. on camera. TV. I know that. <laughs> I don't want to do it. It's a funny story. But I ended up, I said, call the cops. This guy's trying to kill me. Turns out the cop's his friend. So he comes in and gets me. He goes, listen, just pay for the sandwiches. We won't arrest you. I'm like, okay, oh. I'll pay for the sandwiches. How and much was for the sandwiches? I had to pay for them later on. I didn't have the money right yeah. at the time. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? So I went back. What to did the you place. have to pay the sandwiches with? I had to pay with cash. Yeah, okay. Actually, it was unbelievable. But like getting back to you guys are from like the part of Orange County. It's so yes. cool down there. Growing up there, it's got to be a ton of fun, man. I love the OC. I remember going out to Long Beach, hunting the beach, taking the ferry over to Catalina oh, Island. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 we got a lot that. of we got a lot of memories at Catalina. Tell I us mean, about I mean, that one. I, I love think that. I, I want my kids to grow up in Orange County. We've and we've yeah. been everywhere. We travel everywhere, all over the yeah. place. And I just it, there's a lot. I think we have the best of everything. You have snowboarding two hours away. You have the beach five minutes away. You have San Diego an hour. You have LA an hour. We have everything. You want a dirt bike? You go an hour. You want to snowboard? You go two hours. You want to go to the beach? It's five minutes. It's like, yeah. You have everything right there, so it's good. It's but amazing. we used to we went to Catalina a bunch of times. We went to uh, for his bachelor party, did and you? he almost died. I did. Yeah, what he happened? Well, died. So not we, not even kidding. We're always touring. We're always on the road. We're always doing you know crap. So it was like bachelor party time. I was like, I, I don't want to go like Vegas or do that big party thing. I just want to go somewhere mellow and relax. Let's go to Catalina. Let's get like go to a, bars there, play pool, hang exactly. out, do that. Let's golf. go relax, yeah. golf, just yeah. do that course. Right around in the goat and the golf carts. On the goat carts. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to the golf carts. Yeah. So that's the only way to get the around first there. Night, uh, you know, we obviously just get completely hammered. It's my back to the party. We're like, I want to go to the top of the mountain. Let's go to the top of the mountain. So we take the golf carts to the top of the mountain. And it's our buddy's golf cart who has like the big wheels. There's no governor on it, so you can haul ass in this thing. And now we're up on the hill, we're wasted, and we're driving back down, and he's flying down this mountain, right? And yeah. I'm in shotgun next to him with my beer, like not even holding on. And he goes left in the corner, and I go right. It wasn't me driving. And I'm I just swear to God. tumbling down this hill, and I, I don't really remember after that because I was completely knocked out. Knocked out, and hammered, and then knocked out. Yeah, for real. So he was blacked out, and then he got knocked out. So yeah, long story short, you know, I'm okay. I just got a couple nicks and scratches and then you know, we go home and like a couple la days later I'm just like man I, I can't smell anything I can't taste anything I just feel really weird I need to go to the doctors and get checked out so I go and I get uh, like a cat scan and I had two fractures in my skull my brain was bleeding and I'm just oh and the guy's God. like what did you do last night and I was like this was like five days ago he's like 
You've been walking around for five days like this? I'm like, yeah. Your, bleed, your brain yeah, was, your bleeding brain was bleeding, bleeding for five, five days. days. Can't I am smell. so <laughs> glad you're here. You, know you obviously <laughs> got all your senses back. I know. You're I can't it. smell. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The one good thing. like, walk hard. Yeah. I can't smell anything. That's cool. He well, can't, yeah, you can't so smell sometimes bacon, which is a bummer. But he can't yeah. smell all the guys' farts in the tour bus. Yeah, which is like, crucial. That's I'll be the main thing. Out of the the tour bus, is, oh my God, Dave killed it! And I'm like, I'm like a superhero. Yeah, you don't even. I'm yeah, you fine. love it. It's I can't sniff and fart. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's incredible. It's gross, stuff. but it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's great that you don't have to deal with that. I know. Yeah. Just, just, just being a bunch of guys and hanging out like you do. How do you guys all end up meeting each other? How did you you two knew each other? Like, yeah, we met like freshman year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John, John, I've been friends with him since third grade, and. Then I met him at a party. I walked into uh, uh, this house party, and there was like this music coming from this room. I walk in, everybody's smoking blunts, like drinking forties and stuff, because that's all we could afford. And <laughs> and uh, there's this like rap, like gangster rap tape on. But yeah. the raps are hilarious. They're about like beating off and how big our girlfriend's tits are, and how I have these AK 47s that shoot knives and fucking like all the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. Like totally bullshit joke raps, right? Yeah. And we're all crying. I'm like, who are these kids? I want to hang out with these kids. These guys are hilarious. Meet Dustin, and they make these <laughs> these these hip-hop tapes at his house, and we're like yeah. 15. Yeah. So we go back to his house. I'm like, I got to be friends with these guys. We go back to his house. His whole garage is soundproofed. His, him and his dad had a soundproof garage because yeah. him and his brother run bands. And I was just like, oh, we're going to... We're gonna be good buddies, and then we just <laughs> sat in the garage for a couple years and started writing music, and that's and it came from there. That's it literally came yeah. from bullshit yeah. joke raps. Yeah, this, I I mean, you still got those tapes? I mean, oh, yeah. come to your fans I would do. love to hear some of those songs. I want to hear the one about. Back in the day, we were recording on a four-track mini disc. Yeah, and we'd have like one Casio keyboard. Yeah, and we'd have ten of our buddies. We'd all go to parties, or whatever. We everyone come back to my house because the soundproof garage, so yeah. we can be as loud as we want till whenever. And we would just make one dumb beat, and it would be ten minutes long, and everyone gets a verse. Wow, that's great. Everyone had that's a great verse. way to throw and parties. It was so it hilarious because you'd be done with the song and everyone's just crying, they're laughing so hard, and everyone's just drinking forties in the corner with their paper and their pen. Just and right, and, right, 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 right. and then they do their rap, and everyone's just dying. And, it's just and you had to one creative game. Yeah, because you, know yeah, I mean? you like, had to one up like you had your buddy, and you have to one up them. You have to one up them, and then it was there was one about like beating off in the bathtub. With the jellyfish, and then somebody's mom came in with chicken wings or something. Oh. It was like yeah. it got so retarded. Because you, you, so you had to want, keep wanting up, so they just kept getting dumber and dumber and yeah. dumber and dumber. And to we more like, gross okay. and more, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's done. Fantastic. <laughs> that was so. That was a blast. It was a blast. So that when did fun. you realize you were like, I want to really do this? Well, you know, I was always really into like music and stuff, yeah. and that was yeah. obviously that was just like the fun part of it. But yeah. I was really into like writing and doing that stuff, and then. um you know, that was during that time was when we were really growing yeah. as musicians and getting into it. Yeah. And then through that, you know, people were falling off and not coming over as much. And then, you know, I was like, man, Jared actually could rap. He's pretty good at this, yeah. you know? And it was kind of like one day we were like, hey, let's try and like actually make a song. Like, not like a dumb joke. Let's, let's yeah. try and make some songs and just see what happens. And that's kind of how it started. You know? Yeah. How was hanging and working with like M. Shadows? And because he's from your area, yeah, there, right? Yeah. Slash, yeah. Slash, yeah. Slash two being on there, like on, on the record with you guys. It was fun, right? Uh, was... Those guys, I mean, Avenged, they've been friends with ours for a long time. Uh, I was friends with Rev since I was 10, so we've yeah. known those guys forever. Um, they're they're insane. They're like I, I, we go to watch them when 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 they're in town, and it's like God, we need to go practice. They're the yeah. they're one of the best bands in the world, I think, and they're great guys, and they're super nice and super humble. So, you know, it's family. So we we called up Matt, and we we're like, hey, come do a remix with us. You know, we've yeah. always wanted we needed somebody. You know, we wanted something heavier and something more like maybe a couple screams or something. And Matt, yeah. obviously, we're gonna hang out with them. Um, he's like your, your brother anyway. You know, he's yeah, exactly. Well, 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 it, it, cool, it, it just goes hand in hand. Yeah, so it's a big family. It's really cool. We still see them all the time. See, see, yeah. We still see all those boys. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've just made a lot of friends throughout the years, like the Pepper guys and everything. But those dudes, we'd known those guys before. Either of us were in a band. Yeah. You know, just Actually, I was in, when I was in a punk band back in high school, like when we started doing the raps, M Shadows was in another punk band called yeah. Successful Failure. So we were in two Successful different bands, failure. I love that and name. we would play shows together back then, like freshman yeah. year. And now, yeah. this you know, now we're in two different bands. That's so, amazing. So yeah. <laughs> well, guys, I'm glad you're doing great. Can we, we want to share with our fans and let let them in on like your pre-show ritual because yeah. you're cool. Like, a lot of bands do certain things before the show, and nobody gets to see that. So we yeah. get to see that. We have right one. Now. Let's do it. Dirty Heads fan. Like, oh, Is, uh, do we have everybody? Uh, prepared yet. Is everybody are they around? Maybe we might have to do it. Uh, out. Where's Sean? Where's Sean. I think they're on. Uh oh, he's just waiting. I, I don't no, know. When like, I, when I uh, see this is what happens. Yeah, we might have some time to kill. Yeah. 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 
Dave pours them. Oh, did yeah. you pour them already? Yeah, they're here. Come here. This yeah. 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 But this is the thing. You're, there's a certain way you have to. Dave has to pour them. Yeah. So that's your, that, that's your responsibility yes. always, yeah. right? Always. always. Yeah. So Dave pours them. He yeah. does his little ice thing. Yeah. We, we half the dude doing, doing some fireball. Half the dude's doing fireball. Half the dude's Fireball's a little crazy, man. Yeah. Clothes come off. Yeah. Good or bad. I'm thinking so. Yeah. Oh my God. And they're ready to go already? Hey, look, you got your Jack Daniels here, Corona Lights, you pour the your doc, oh, yeah. lone Dr. Pepper. That's <laughs> <laughs> yes. our manager with a new Jeez, goatee. Look what's at that up, thing. Brother? Dude, good to see you, man. See you, How brother. are you, brother? I'm awesome. awesome, man. You know, the last time we hung out, we hung out, we were both flying, we were going through security. I turned around, gee, what's up? Through security here in Jacksonville. Yeah. So we need some time to kill Sat and had a breakfast. We're just hanging out. Did he tell, was he getting, did he tell security that he had drugs? Yeah. yeah, he always tells them that we have drugs in our asses and stuff. Yeah. He tries to get us in trouble. He, yeah, keeps oh, them on their toes. When I had crutches. Oh, those crutches are machine guns. <laughs> they told me that. It's like, oh, that's a <laughs> party. Uh, that's one way to slow up a tour. Yeah. Right, guys? No, it's, it's good cool. seeing you, brother. It's great seeing you, too, Cheese. Did uh, Jacob get you set up with a pass? Yeah, we're, we're good with everything. Yeah, good. we're good okay. to go. Oh, Thank you. it's time. So yeah. Here we go, guys. It's time for the pre-show ritual. Yeah. Yeah, let's go out here. You're going to have a shot with him, Matt? Huh? You're going to do a shot? Yeah, I'll do the Jack instead of the, yeah. It's got to be Jack. I can't do that fireball stuff, man. Unless you guys want me to do a projectile vomit. <laughs> All right, Good can't do that. I don't want to be doing that. Here, Here. Get my text message. Oh, no. yeah. we got any cold beers yeah. on our yeah. I need it. Yeah, I know, no, no. It's good to know we're gonna actually. But yeah. I just wanted to give you a heads up. Yeah. Hold on. You're always prepared. Going for a beer. Yeah. Whoa! You know look at this guy. You, you yeah. Deserve, but, well, you're cheese, you're beer. joining us, right, brother? I just rode That's cool. 233 miles in two hours. Oh, tell by now, this is Cheese. Oh, wow. This is the Dirty Heads manager, <laughs> and he's a great friend, <laughs> an you amazing guy. I love seeing you, brother. You know that? Yeah, this is Chatty Cat. We're here, dude. You're rocking. All right, guys. Sean, show us to it. Fly upon the wings of Pegasus. Let whiskey be making you faster. Sharpen your shield with a champion's bravery. Let death become your master. When others fail, we prevail. Honor is what we're after. No matter what we face in that which surrounds us, cheers for mercy on those bastards. Ah! <laughs> All right, Damn, that's on. You got fucking, uh, you got medieval. That was a novel. That was right? good. I thought you were going to talk about that. Uh, Ooh. Fly up on the wings of Pegasus. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ready? Okay, good. Guys, thank you. So you ready to go out and do it? Yeah, man, this ready is to go. Fly yeah. up on the wings awesome, bro. Good Pegasus. hanging with you. Yeah, you too. You know, I have to come out to Catalina with you guys sometime. I'd love to hang with you guys out there. It's a good time, dude. I told you, stay in my path. You know, it's crazy. I gotta, I gotta come down and stay in your place and we'll go out, man. Yeah. We'll hang. Come down to the OC. It's been too long since I've been down there. That's great, man. So we're, we're just getting ready. Guys are gonna go out. We're gonna follow these guys out to the stage. Oh, Couple extra come. beers in there, getting things ready to rock. Yeah. Uh, That's great. Hey, Maddie. Yeah. Yep. One, three, one, you know the funny God story God. was I told him a story. That, uh, no lines. You know fun. I. Uh, one of, I this is unacceptable. We cannot perform. What? And go scuba diving with a plane. We're playing. Joyous. That was my we job. Need, we need some life situations. Man, you lying. <laughs> you always lying. 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 Dude, he's like, I got yeah, you. That's mine. Help him out. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you take off all no. your jewelry. Yeah, and you, give it exactly. you got it. It's yours. It's yours. You know what I mean? After the shoot's go. done tonight, all right, ready? This is yours. That's a gift from me. You guys ready to rock? Boys, guys, we're in. Let's do it. Let me know about. Yeah, man, I love, I love, I love OC. I haven't been, like I said, it's been a long time. You living out here? Uh, I live, oh, I live between here and Jersey. But, um, but, uh. I remember being at a punk skate festival in Huntington Beach years ago. Oh, yeah? And, uh, was there a riot? It, it was a riot. There was, was a giant Barney. There was a giant Barney, like, there for the kids, like, for a family. And the guys didn't know you for a name incited a riot, and they told everybody to go tear down the Barney. And it was this gigantic Barney. So the kids attacked it. They tore the thing up. And then the, they didn't the, no use for a name. Had to, had to run out and hide because the cops were after them. Like the cops located. They wanted to arrest. No use for a name. So, is that hilarious? We're getting Barney killed. Is that hilarious? It was a, a, a classic story, isn't it? Oh, it's so funny. Yeah. Guy's great. Kill Barney. 
That was so funny. All the little kids in the crowd. I, just, oh. yeah. I asked Chris Shiplett, you know, was in the Foo Fighters about that thing. He's like, oh, I joined right after that, but I did hear the story. That was a crazy day, man. <laughs> you know? All right, guys. You got it. Guys, have a great show. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for doing it with Fan Pass, guys. You got it. Thank you. Take care, guys.